Hello everybody, this is Music Theory 1, video number 4. Today we're going to talk about drawing key signatures. It should be a shorter video, but we're going to go over what we need to know about drawing all those key signatures we've been talking about. This video is going to follow in our Circle of Fifths video, and so I'm going to assume we have a pretty good idea about how to figure out key signatures. But if you need to, go back and watch that video, one of the most important videos we've done so far. Here is that circle of fifths that we talked about. We remember that we can start at the top of the circle and find our key signatures with no accidentals, C major and its relative minor key, A minor. And as we rotate along the circle clockwise, we go to, through our sharp keys. And so G major has one sharp, E minor has one sharp, D major has two sharps, and B minor has two sharps. And if we go the other way, F major has one flat, B flat major has two flats, E flat major has three flats, and likewise for their relative keys D, G, and C minor. We also remember that order of sharps and flats, here they are, here's the order of sharps and the order of flats. We know that if we know how many of these accidentals we need, they're always going to be added in this order. And so the first sharp we add is always going to be F, the second C, the third G, and so forth, in both our major and minor keys. And the order of flats, we know the first flat we add is always going to be B, the next one E, the next one A, and so forth. Again, no matter if we have a major or minor key. But how are we going to draw these key signatures? Well, we need to make sure we draw them accurately because uh, there's a specific place we want to put all these accidentals when we're drawing flat keys and sharp keys. And so we're going to go over that right now. Here's our treble clef and our bass clef. I'm going to show you both of these as we draw today. The first flat we draw whenever we draw a key signature is B flat, and we draw it on the center line in our treble clef. On the bass clef, we draw it on that low B. When we add that E flat to our key signature, we always go up from the B flat. We start with B flat and then we go up to E flat. Notice that we're drawing our accidentals in the order of flats. We always are going to do that when we draw a key signature. We're going to draw flat them in the order of flats or in the order of sharps. From E flat we go back down to A flat. That's our third flat. Up to E flat, down to A flat. And our fourth flat, D flat, we're going to go back up. This is a pattern that we started up, down, up, and it's going to continue. This is how we draw all our flat key signatures. We start on B flat, and then we alternate going up and down as we add flats in the order of flats. Yep, G flat just appeared, and of course it went down from D flat. And there is C flat back up. We're at six flats. We've got one left. And there it is, F flat, our seventh flat, all our flats. Once again, we're starting with B flat, drawing it in the middle line on our treble clef staff or on the bottom line on our bass clef staff, and then we're just alternating up and down in the order of flats. This is how we draw a flat key signature, okay? Any other versions, any other versions of this are going to be incorrect. These key signatures have been around time, and we've got a standardized way of drawing them, and we're just going to confuse people if we draw them in another way. So this is how we want to do it every time, our flat key signatures. They're all going to look like this. Okay, let's take a look at the sharps. So just like our flat key signatures, we're going to draw our sharp key signatures in the order of sharps, which means the first sharp we always draw is going to be F sharp, because that's the first one in the order. On our treble clef, we're drawing that F sharp on the top line, and on the bass clef, we're also drawing it pretty high uh, on that F between the two dots of the bass clef. There's our second sharp, C sharp. We're going down and drawing that in the middle of our treble clef staff, and on that second space from the bottom on our bass clef staff. Our third sharp goes up. Once again, we're sort of alternating directions here to make them easy to read. And so we started with F, we went down to C sharp, and now we go back up to G sharp. It sits on top of the treble clef staff and on the top space inside of the bass clef staff. Let's look at our next sharp, which is going to be D sharp. There it is. D sharp, we've gone back down, and so we've got sort of this same idea of alternating pattern, down to C sharp, up to G sharp, down to D sharp. But here's where the sharps are going to break off, because when we add A sharp, it's not going to keep going up. It's not going to keep that pattern, because we go down again. We can see it right here. We've got that A sharp drawn below the D sharp in both our treble clef and our bass clef staff. So this is five of our sharps so far. Again, in order, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. Let's get our last two. Let's find E sharp. There it is, E sharp, top space in our treble clef staff. And in the third space from the bottom on our bass clef staff, let's finish this off with our final sharp. 
there it is, B sharp, we've gone down again. And that's our last of the seven sharps that we have to draw in key signatures. And so we can see that we don't have quite the simple pattern of up, down, up, down, up, down that we had on our flat key signatures. Instead, we've got a little bit of something different. I like to think of this as sort of a grouping of two, F going down to C sharp, then a grouping of three, G going down to D, going down to A, and then a grouping of two, E going down to B. That's the easiest way I have to think about it. But whatever it works for you to help you remember where we draw these sharps, again, this is the way every time we're going to put our sharp key signatures in, we're going to put them in an order, we're going to put them in the right spaces so that they're easy to use. And that's the end. That's drawing key signatures, our fourth video from Music Theory 1 an important one that follows up our key signature talks. Remember, uh, you can always come back, watch these again if you need to review anything. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time in class.